Hello, New York. Just out here living in the concrete jungle. My lovely assistant's carrying my garment bag. One of the reasons we're up in New York City, besides getting pampered at this awesome Spanish bathhouse, is uh, I still need to do some final stuff for my groomsmen and myself for the wedding, for the attire. So we're off to go look for some ties, some shirts, some vests, and uh, some pants. Because apparently, you have to wear pants in public. Okay, bye. Everywhere we go, we hold it down. Can't go my city, but no, I don't need no crown. Baby, this bitch and telling us to turn it down. So we just turn it up, turn it up, turn it up, real loud for the town. Everywhere we go, we hold it down. Can't go my city, but no, I don't need no crown. Need no crown. Well not get a lot of footage from the suit store because really got sidetracked with uh, a lot of the help. So I'm up here visiting May's sister and her boyfriend currently. It's like uh, been in the men's fashion industry for a long time. It works for a lot of these suit companies up here and uh, the guy really, really knows the ins and outs and so I was really paying attention to a lot of the detail and the accents and things that he was recommending for the wedding. And honestly, got a lot of different ideas for the wedding that have kind of changed my idea as a whole of what I wanted to pull off. Now, going into it, I wanted to do kind of like a modern dapper theme, and that's why I was going with the Leadberry. And one thing that I quickly realized that trying to go with them is that they're not a suit company, rather a company that does trousers and blazers and very nice dress shirts and men's apparel. The dilemma I'm having is actually trying to pair the blazers we got from them with nice dress pants. They did not have enough of the dress pants that they make that match the blazers, unfortunately. So I was like, you know what, screw it. We're just gonna get the shirts, the ties, the blazers from Leadberry. I'll just go find pants. How hard can it be to match blue pants, he said. Ha <laughs> ha, it's actually very, very hard. And so I'm realizing that it's not going to happen. So I think I'm kind of back to the drawing board. Found some really nice navy tuxes. So I think what I'm gonna do for myself is do a navy tux, have my guys in a different shade of blue suit. Still gonna use the Leadberry shirts at a minimum, possibly the ties, um, but I'm trying to cut costs for all my guys. And so uh, the ties are pretty expensive. Found some other ties that were about 50 to $60 less. And right there is their tailoring cost. So trying to keep everybody looking good, but also not having to spend a lot of extra money. And so, uh, yeah, so I think we're gonna Possibly return a lot of Leadberry stuff. Maybe just keep the blazers. I don't know. Maybe I'll make them the guys groomsmen's gifts We'll see what happens, but uh, New York's been a lot of fun. It's actually gorgeous weather This is the only time I think I've ever been up here that it hasn't been like frigid cold. So uh, We're staying with her sister over here in Queens. No Yes, yes, yes Queens. I uh, got a gorgeous view of the city over here uh, Really cool dog parks and stuff. Nell has been having a blast making all kinds of friends Sipping on my iced coffee like usual. Shit is expensive up here. This ice red eye, five fifty. Five dollars and fifty cents, people. Five doll hairs. That was just ridiculous. So today we're actually gonna go head up the prestigious Woodbury Commons. It is like uh, the outlet malls of all outlet malls. So let's go see if we can't do some damage getting our fashion haul on. Okay, bye. Nella. What was your favorite part about the big big apple? You just completely ruined your car seat, didn't you? That's why we can't have nice things. Okay, so I'm gonna finish up this uh, New York trip video with, like two years later, this q and I put up on Instagram about May and I. Um, well, I put it up as about her and I, but I'll, I got a lot of questions about, I guess, myself, Max, and then her and I as well. So I'm just gonna flow through them real quick, like, and uh, if what's her face feels like chiming in at all, she will. How much an average you spend when you go shopping for clothes? I don't know, average I feel like is a hard guesstimate because sometimes I go hard in the paint and sometimes I'm very frugal or you don't find anything. So, um, I, don't know, 
I couldn't tell you an average number. It all depends on the fines. Will we ever compete in a powerlifting meet like your potato brother? Probably not. I get a lot of questions about that just because I feel like for my current weight, I would normally hover between 175, honestly between like 173 and 177. Um, I'm not competitive, competitive enough, but I've also considered just doing it for fun. My current maxes are 405 deadlift, 250 bench, and um, 335 squat. I almost had 350 one time max of spotted me. I could probably get 350 again real soon. So I feel like my numbers are pretty strong, but just for my current weight, I don't think I'm that competitive. So I don't even know if I would place. Did her parents like you right away? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, pretty much right away. I mean, who doesn't like me? I never shut up. <laughs> so it's never been a problem transitioning into her family. Yay for getting married to a Persian girl. That's not a question, but cool. How hard was it to get motivated signing back up for graduate school and getting back into student mode after being done? Pretty hard. I really, really do not like school at all, but like I've said before, a big reason why I pursued going to grad school and getting my master's is just because I had a little bit of some veterans benefits available for education through our dad. And so I had to start school before I was 31. And so as much as I may not like it, I think assisted education would have been stupid to pass up. So, uh, it, you know, I was about a year out of grad or undergraduate doing graduate school so it's still pretty fresh but um, and so it really wasn't that hard at all to transition <laughs> okay this is from my friend Nick why is white boy like you infiltrating us brown folk because I find my own people very boring and I'm intrigued by imports kitten how did you make the long distance work long oh never long distance. like well like two months, not even. She moved up to DC ahead of me last year, but she was always back and forth to Richmond. I was always back and forth to DC. So like, I mean, I think at most we went like three days without seeing each other. So it wasn't really a problem. Uh, were you guys together when Chase was in the army? No, I was out for about three years at that point And we met at VCU where we both went to school. Do you have a bachelor's degree? And if so, from where? Yes. Going back to the last question. I have my undergraduate from Virginia Commonwealth University, VCU, Richmond, Virginia, and it is in health, physical education, and exercise science. What's your favorite color? Blue! Look at me! You know why? Look at these eyes. Mm. Makes my baby blues pop. When I was getting out of the army, my mom said I should become a cop because they wear blue uniforms, and I look very pretty in blue, she said. But I digress. Uh, I'm gonna disregard all questions from one DeBald Trump. What's your favorite song on Views? Ooh, that's a good one. I'm gonna have to. Control. Mm. Control is pretty good. I do like Fire and Desire a lot. Um, and like the opening track is really good. What's up? It's called a uh, Family. I think Family Closer. Yeah. Uh, honestly, the whole thing start to finish, I think, is phenomenal. Dropping the camera. When she gets nervous or angry, does she shout at you in her own language? She speaks Farsi. Um, I don't think I've ever done that. No, she's never done that. Does your family live in their native country or USA too? Uh, <laughs> yes, they live here. Her family, her parents immigrated to the US many years ago and her and all of her siblings were born here in the United States. Does she have any friends for Max? Hashtag forever alone, yes. Max is very friendly with all of her friends. Interpret that as you may. Thoughts on name of first child? Well, it turns out that I have no say-so in this because she's had this all figured out since she was whittle. So, if it's a boy, we're going with Landon, but we're also going to throw in a Charles in honor of Papa Chewy. As a middle name. As a middle name. So, Landon, Charles, Tuning. She's happy, I'm happy. Happy wife, happy life. Do you guys ever get jealous? Uh, yes, when the other person is eating cereal and the other person didn't get a bowl for her to share. I think I get more jealous of you and you don't put me on okay, camera. Okay, okay. I'm bad. I take it back. You get more jealous of what? You. Not like you talking to girls, just you. What do you mean? Like your physique, the way you look, I'm like more jealous. Yeah. I'm like competitive with you're, you. You're jealous of all my gains? Yeah. 
You hear that, fellas? Can you guys do a video where like each of you goes into the other person's closet and picks out an outfit? Mm. Oh, there you go. Okay. My favorite part about May is how she gives everything a fair chance to like think through, you know, compromise. But... <laughs> Aren't you afraid that once you start living together, you'll start noticing little annoying things you didn't notice before? I notice plenty annoying things. Yeah, I'm very annoying all the time, so <laughs> I don't keep it hidden for like <laughs> private apartment time. What country would you choose if you were depo deported? Ooh. Okay, first of all, we would not be deported because we're U.S. citizens. But <laughs> I'm going to interpret that question as if we had to pick another country, where would we live outside of the U.S.? Um, I could move to Italy tomorrow just fine. Pretty much anywhere in Europe. I love Italy. Um, I would say I'm moving to Cannes. She's France. moving to Cannes because she's bougie AF. Oh, how did my family react when I presented her to them? Uh, well, I didn't present her to them. I introduced. I didn't like say, I have a good woman for you. But... <laughs> I do remember it was a really awkward situation though. Why? It was Christmas, remember? We went to Tom's family's for Christmas oh, and then we went yeah. back to your house. It was the first time I met your mom. Yeah. And now I realize it's just how your mom is. Uh -huh. She like has awkward pauses and just kind of stares uh, at you for a little bit. Yeah. But at the time I was like, why is she looking at me like that? Is it because I don't have blonde hair? <laughs> <laughs> and me and Aisha was with me too and she got the same vibe too. Yeah. She was like, why was she looking at you like that? Now I know that's just how she is. Yeah, she's just like that. And apparently mom is um, shy around imports. What are some tips on making relationships last long term? Ooh, buy your girlfriend stuff. Okay, all right, less materialistic maybe, like. That's a good one. Yeah. Well, that's a good segue. Know their love language. So, May, not to sound, it's not gonna sound bad, but you know, she likes things, like actual physical, tangible gifts to her speak to her love language. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, go check out, I forget the guy's name, the author, but it's called The Five Love Languages. There's like a classic version, one for men, one for women. Um, but really learning the best way of how you can show your affection to the other person, I think has been a big thing for us. So she really enjoys physical gifts, and so that could be something like that I've bought her or like I've made her things, I write her letters. So like physical, tangible things, she really enjoys getting and receiving gifts. Um, for me, I'm all about quality time and like affection, like physical touch, you know, so just like hold my hand, being cute, PDA, um, and just, you know, spending time with me. I just, that's what I enjoy the most. So it's not about what you think you like the most. This camera's going all over the place, hold on, bear with me. It's not about what you like to receive, and so you may like, you know, time and affection, um, but your partner may not. So just know what they like and how they best respond to those things and then uh, go from there. So <coughs> don't be selfish, don't be greedy. Did your facial hair play a role in starting this relationship? <laughs> you talk about me or her? <laughs> because Persians are hairy. That was um, good. Yeah. <laughs> she liked that. Yeah. Uh, what do you think? You like you like the? I don't think off? you had facial hair when I met you. I think you were clean shaven. Really? Yeah, because then you were like, "Oh, I grow a full beard," and I was I thought it was a joke because you were so like clean cut. Oh yeah. And then you grew a full beard, and I was like, "What the hell is that?" So I guess short answer no, because I was baby face. Yeah, but now I like this better. Yeah. Most rough, mo better. Suggestions for becoming part of a big Persian family. Ooh, uh, Tarof. Oh yeah, Tarof. This is the dumbest thing Don't ever. Screw it up. There's a thing called Tarof, and so basically it's like, you know, being polite, like, it's oh. Insisting. Oh, here the check comes to the table, like, oh, I'll get it. No, 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 I insist. No, 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 let me get it, I got it. No, 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 please. Just like, give me a number of times I need to say no or yes, and we can just get through this. So, I mess up all the time. Her family says like, oh, go ahead, get food, or oh, I'll get this, I'll get that. I'm supposed to like play this game of back and forth. So they're big in that. They're just small little cultural things, but other than that, just get used to a lot of people all the time. Like my family is like this big. Her family, like her, she has like 70 first cousins. It's ridiculous. Just get used to people around all the time. If you could be a dinosaur, which one would you be? Ooh. That's a good one. A dapper -saurus. No, it's stupid. I just made that up. 
I think I'd be a T-Rex. She'd be a T-Rex because she has whittle arms. I think I'd be a T-Rex. She has whittle arms. I'd like to say I'd be one of those like cute, nice ones from um, Land Before Time, but I don't think so. Yeah, she would not be a cute, nice one. Maybe you would be one of those. I would be a cute, nice one. Yeah. Yeah, she would be cute, deceptively looking nice, but then she would like. <sighs> Give me a boost. No. Okay. Fun fact: boost means kiss in Farsi, so boost by day. No. No, she's not playing. Ooh, and uh, my LT, okay. Mr. Nick Bear, asks any ideas on the honeymoon location? Yes, we are going to be doing a full-blown honeymoon next summer uh, when we have more time to kind of prepare for it. So we're looking at hopping around a few places in Europe, starting off in Italy, going to France. Uh, I would really like to show her Prague. I've been to Prague. She has not. She has been to uh, a lot more places in France that I have not been to. I've only been to France. I'm dumb. I've only been to Paris. And so we're going to bounce around a little bit over there. I think that's pretty much it. Bum, 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 bum. In Germany. Oh yeah, and Germany too. I uh, really like Germany because beer. Yeah, that's it. Um, sorry for the delay on this one. Sorry for the wait too. But rapid fire Q and A. New York was a lot of fun. Um, shout out to the Big Apple for making all my concrete jungle dreams come true. Is that it? I'd say so. All right. You can zoom in on Nella. Nella, any last words? And again, I don't even know why we. Okay, right, look at you. Like, that is. How is that more comfortable? Okay. All right. So, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, you stay classy, Planet Earth. <laughs>